Hey y'all, welcome back to another one of my videos. And this video, which you're getting ready to see, is dominoes. What make this one special from all the other ones is that with this one, you guys help me with the comments, the asking questions, the, the likes, the love, the, oh, teammate, we love your husband. Okay, so also in this video, you will be seeing some of my bloopers. Why? Because crafters have bloopers and why not show them so you would know how to handle them. So before we jump into this video, I need for you to make sure that you like, comment, as well as turn on the notification and subscribe to this channel. So I need for you to stay tuned. Hey, 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 this is T-Mac. I am back with another video on dominoes. I'm getting so many questions that's being asked and I love it. Please continue to do it um, about the dominoes. So while I'm here, let's park it. Let's uh, be as thorough, as detailed as possible. I'm gonna try to make sure I answer all of your questions, um, concerns, what you heard, what you haven't heard, and all that so let's get started i have everything set up here i have from my acrylic paint my um epoxy baby powder alcohol i have a brush i have my pan i have my dryer so if you noticed in my previous videos i was using a pink mold well this one is a little bit different because it's different in size and we're just gonna try it out together i've never done it before i'm assuming for myself that it's the exact same thing but the size that i was using before was a professional mold and this is the professional mold that i was using before okay so the one that i'm using today and i just labeled them myself is a jumbo mold now the difference is it's a little bit thicker so we're gonna go ahead and go with this one i have another one here that's a tournament mold so this one is a lot bigger as you can see but we will work on this one on another day so today we're gonna go ahead and go with i have to cheat a little bit the jumbo mold so um it still fits in the pan that's definitely what you want you want something protected under your um under your pan to protect your table um, because you don't want to have any type of epoxy laying on the table However, if you have like a small amount of epoxy or whatever that's dried on the table, just get you some um, fingernail polish remover with acetone, rub it on there. Now, I'm going to tell you now, I am not responsible if it turns your table colors. So if your table is brown, pink, purple, whatever color your table is, and it turns the colors. I'm letting you know my disclaimer. I am not responsible, but it will get that um, epoxy off of there. So let's go ahead and get started. I am using today is my Pro Marine epoxy. I am not endorsing one epoxy over the other. I'll just say, get your feet wet, jump in there, see what works for you. What works for you may not work for me, vice versa. So, um, that's what I'm using today is the Pro Marine. Um, I do have it pre-poured. Um, you would have to make sure that whatever you use in part A, you make sure that you use the same thing in part B. If not, you just wasted a whole bunch of epoxy. So um, I have I have it pre-poured. I myself, I like to do a little bit more epoxy versus a little bit less epoxy. And let me explain that. The reason is because with my hands being occupied, I don't want to have to stop and pour more because either the color may not um, come out the same. You have all these other what ifs could happen. So I would rather just pour a little bit more versus a little bit less. And the, the ones that the epoxy that I have left over, I like to use it for like maybe a keychain mold or an ashtray mold or shot glass mold or even if you're doing another mold that can go for that so let's go ahead and get started so i have that here and i am going to use today my colors is going to be white 
in green with a little bit of gold. I'm trying something new with y'all, okay? Y'all said y'all my family, so we go try it together. But this is my pre-cutout uh, little decorations that I'm going to put on there just for St. Patrick's Day. This is for re uh, rec recreational use only. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to put my Michael powder inside of here. I'm using white Michael powder. Actually, let me, yeah, I'm using white Michael powder. The amount that you use in there, that's that's totally up to, that's totally up to you. And I'm going to just pour my paint. This is just some paint that I got from a craft store, I believe, either Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Dollar Store, my acrylic paint. I have a big stirring stick that I'm going to just pick this up and I'm going to just stir. Let it get that white color, white pearlish color. And if you can see, it's doing it. You want to keep stirring that until um, all the epoxy is kind of bubble free. Well, bubble free, not kind of, but definitely uh, bubble free. So I'm going to stir that. I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to stir. I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to stir and let it sit. So while I'm doing that, this is a toothpick. Just something that I want to, if I have to use, if something come in my mind. I'm going to just put some baby powder on top of my mat here. And I'm going to get my brush. And I'm going to just brush in a little bit of baby powder. Now, the reason why some do this is to avoid bubbles. Now, you can use it or you cannot use it. Whatever works for you, that's what we want you to do is to get comfortable with what works for you. Hey, babe. Hey. What's up? What's up, YouTube? They say, what's up, Mr. Mac? Ladies, ladies, ladies. Don't get beat, 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 beat. How my ladies doing out there in YouTube land? Ah, yeah. Oh, they supposed to be, ah, falling yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever. Yeah. You know what I know. I know you fits, baby. Yeah. You like you got experience with that baby powder. I do. <laughs> you want me to say something for you? Maybe later. Maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna assist me today? Of course. Okay. So we have the baby powder in real good. I'ma just brushing it in. Then I am getting ready to do what my husband loves so much. Let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. I'm just a you smack gonna it. it. You gonna smack <laughs> it? You gonna smack it? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ain't nobody splash it like you, baby. Once again, smack a belly. So now I have everything. I have my baby powder set in there. So I am going to come back and start stirring again. So I'm stirring it and I'm letting it sit. Now, some people just keep stirring, but me, I like to stir a little bit, let it sit a little bit. Now, this is something that's definitely new to me. It's some gold flakes that 
I'm sure if I mess up, y'all won't tell on me. Y'all won't bash me. Because, you know, sometimes crafting, you, you make stuff and be like, what the hell was I thinking? But we're going to see. So I'm just Ooh. going to get like some little fall pieces here. Them flakes remind me of back in the day when I got you, baby. When I had my go to this. Yeah. So I'm just putting this in with a little bit of, I have a, what is this thing called? Tweezer thing. Tweezers. Tweezer thing? Twe <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Well, There's going to be a link in the description where you can pick up a tweezer thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just putting it, I'm trying not to put it on top of the dots but just somewhere here now my goal my objective my what i want for it to happen is i would like to see it at the bottom of just a couple of flakes here and there at the at the bottom now if it end up somewhere else and it's cute i said i was trying it with y'all right So from what I see, it doesn't take much, just a little. I was hoping for it to be in a corner somewhere, but it looked like it want to go wherever it want to go. So I'm going to let the chips fall where they may. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see. You believe in me, baby? I believe in you, girl. All right, well. Don't make me start singing. Oh, Okay. I'm going to leave that for another video. I don't think they're ready yet. They not. They not. They not. Y'all put a comment down below if y'all want me to start singing. They in, don't. In the next video. We're going to see. Show me some love, ladies, ladies, ladies. You just made uh, everybody trap off. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't within their uh plan. Yeah, you got they gonna make me hit them Maxwell notes. What? You know. Babe. No. No. Hey. No. That's what got you, girl. I'm just put you on punishment. That's what got you, girl. You right. You right Don't about forget it. about it. You are definitely right. Yeah. Look at this. Trying to have his... Um, look, it's sticking somewhere else. Just, just do it, baby. Just do it. Give it to him real. Give it to him raw. However it come out. It is what it is. Okay. 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 So. That's down. Thought that was down. I still kind of holding on. I got one more flake here. And again, I am just playing around just to just to see. Because I want this to be like my little not rainbow, but gold. Let's see. I want this to be my gold. Babe, you want to go too? Wanna you go know, too? This you is... know, my old one fell out. I want a new one, girl. Here, here goes some fall. You can put it over your gold toothpaces, baby. Oh, don't make me bring it back. <laughs> girl, when you met me in that mall, baby, and I was, baby, don't get put on pun up. Don't put sucking on my gold tooth, waiting on you to go back to work, like. Girl, you know you just melted. I sure did. I melted all I, the I, way. I, I, yeah. Comment in the comments below, ladies. If y'all had an experience with a man with a gold toothpaces. Jesus. Look at, look at, the ones that had, they just melted. They just melted. Oh, oh, watch. 
I just can't. Oh, he made me think about Bobby Ray from back in the day. Can you go get me a plastic spoon, please? Yeah, what kind? What kind? Just the, the eating plastic spoon. I'll be back, ladies. A teaspoon. I didn't tell him what size on purple shell so he could get him a, a break in between. Oh, baby, I thank you so kindly. You did so good. Anything for you. I made sure I washed the mashed potatoes off and I just had to. What? <laughs> well, it'll blend in. It'll blend, it'll blend, it'll blend. Yeah. Okay. So, I have this port. So, now that I have this port, well, not port, mix, I am going to go ahead and set the dryer. My uh, temperature is at 75. My time, I just did it at 90 doesn't have to be at 90 but i like to pre uh-oh my stuff kind of blowing let me see if i can put the if i can stop it there the door on there okay so let me just go ahead and pour I know that's been one of the best additions to the family though, that dryer. It saves so much time and you can make so much more money on orders, uh, getting them out faster. You're right about it. You are that, absolutely that, that's, right. That's a, a great investment. At, at first, I was tripping on it, but it has. I truly see the, the value in that bad boy. Wait a minute. You was tripping? Well, you know I'm cheap. I wasn't trying to you know what I'm saying? Spend no money, but hey, got to spend money to make money. But you was tripping? Who, me? You sure didn't show me you was tripping. Well, you know, I had to, uh, I had to, you know, wait a little bit, see what it was going to do before I maybe had to choke you out. But good thing what? I, oh, good thing I didn't have to. Uh, Domestic this, violence. Disclaimer, we do not promote violence on this channel. Everything everything you hear is for comical purposes only. Comical? Yeah. Okay. This mode is deeper than the other one that we were uh, using. Now comment if you think that the gold flakes is gonna show. And also y'all, in the description below, I will have um, all the information as far as where it was purchased, what I used, and all of that. So, so what color are these gonna be? White. So, what's these little hats over here? Those are the decals that I'm gonna put, oh, put on top. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Celebrating uh, St. Patrick's Day. Okay, let me put him to the test. What's on St. Patrick's Day, baby? The parade, baby. What kind of parade, baby? St. Patrick's Day parade, baby. What's very important, baby? The leprechauns died for our sins. You gonna be sleeping outside, baby, <laughs> if you don't come up with the right answer. What do you, what do you mean? Let me see. Hmm. Uh. Uh. I don't know. The movie leprechaun come on every year. 
you scare me? You are about to be poxy. Oh, I know. Do you know what today is? It's our anniversary. Hey. Anniversary. Here we are. No autograph. No autograph. Please, please. And no ladies throwing their panties on stage because I'm going to be right there throwing them hoes back. Uh. Almost, almost, almost. Now, there were some questions about the type of alcohol that I use. It's 100% drinkable. No, not that type of alcohol. <laughs> um, I've tried them all. I've tried from the alcohol from the dollar store to the alcohol off of Amazon. The proof, the, what is it, 50% proof, 75% proof, 99% proof. I've used them all. I just grabbed what, what I can get. Now, I can tell you, with crafting, do not make it difficult for yourself. Again, what some may use for them, works for them, may not work for you, and vice versa. But I want you to definitely be uh, comfortable with whatever creation that, you, that you're using. Don't stress, don't compare, don't do, don't do none of that stuff, because you will definitely drive yourself crazy. And be up there singing like he over here singing. Excuse me. I mean, my bad. So. Hey, hey, this going, hey? So you saying I'm hating on you? Don't worry, ladies. I'm gonna create a PO box, a secret PO box where y'all can send me things if y'all want to on the side. As long as it's the first or the fifteenth, I don't care. For those who appreciate my melodious singing. Lord Jesus Christ. Still don't want me to have no fans. Baby, it's for their safety. <laughs> I don't want them driving down the street. You can't be threatening the ladies. I don't want them driving down the street crashing into something because they laughing because they because you up here thinking oh, that you man, could man, say. Man. I thought you was threatening their safety by going into a jealous rage. You over here insulting. Oh yeah, my bad. Insulting my singing. You're you're taking. You're the singing. Got you two kids and a dog. You <laughs> what? You right. You right. Yeah. You right. Yeah. You right. It did. Yeah. It did. It you know really, how deep really your did. voice getting out? Yeah. Ladies. Pay her no mind. Okay, y'all. So I have that squared out the way. I'm trying to kinda like eyeball it to make sure that it's it's kinda even. So, as you see, there are some bubbles, which we could take we could take care of that. But I want to do something that's a little bit different, a little bit me that's doing it while I'm here. And what I'm getting ready to do is try this if you want to. You definitely don't have to, but. I want to put just a little bit of green swirls in here. Now, I know you're saying, Tasha, it's white in there. How you going to do that? Well, I'm going to just change the color. She don't know either. I, I really don't. <laughs> I really, really don't. I got confidence in you, baby. Oh. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Let me give me a little bit of green mica powder. Let's see, if I have some green powder? I, I have some green powder that I'm going to just put, 
I'm gonna just mix in here just to help it with the color change. Oh, Hopefully I won't, but you know, my mind gets to. So you see, it turns it green. So, the idea that I have in my mind, let me put this to the side, put that to the side, put that to the side, put that to the side. I'm going to be using my toothpick and I'm going to be using this popsicle stick. Now you probably saying, what are you getting ready to do? It's only going to take a little But I am just going to dun, dun, dun. I'm just gonna swirl it in. Now here. this is my question. What? What if it don't come out looking right? Are we still releasing the video? Hell yes. <laughs> because it's all about trial and error. And some people think that uh, crafting is supposed to be perfect. And in a sense, it is supposed to be perfect. However, how do you think that you get to that perfect, that perfect standstill? You messing up stuff? Yeah, you got to mess up some stuff. You got to be creative in your, uh, in your own way to see what, you know, what works for what works for you how do you learn so yes if it does come out looking crazy guess what it's my crazy creation how about that okay and i'm just showing people we're human baby a lot of videos that i see they don't uh they don't show that side i guess they want people to think that they're perfect and i am not knocking nobody if you want somebody to think you perfect, then hey, you perfect. Now, question for you. If it don't come out for you, would you, would you still release the video? I don't know. So you want people to think that you're perfect? Look at my leaves right now. Baby, you perfect. <laughs> and you done lied on camera. Boy, if y'all can see how ashy my knees are. He look like Mr. Brown. <laughs> That's all right. You my Mr. Brown. You said you You said you I know you're probably saying Tasha, but I thought you said you was gonna put some decals on it. I am, so if it don't come out looking right, guess what's going over it? The decals! Ooh, yes. And I love it, I love it. <laughs> Baby, I was born your bootleg chick. Right I, what? Oh, I mean, hey. I'm just going from side to side. No special, no special way, no special design or nothing. I'm just going from side to side. Let me get in there a 
Okay. Hold on. Let me see like what you Brandon Max said, stare like coffee. Okay. What do you need to do? What do you need to do? Put your what do you need to do? Hold it and just go from side just to side. Spank. Spank, spank, spank. Okay, do the other one because it's sinking. How deep do I need to go there? Deep. Oh, it's deep. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Do the other one. Do the other one. I'm getting in there, y'all. I'm getting in there. Give my hand there. Yeah. Yeah. Swirl it. Swirl it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop. Splash. You going from side to side? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more green in there. I'm gonna, do I'm that gonna, one. This is my last one. I'm going to let the professional handle it. I'm tired. Ooh, wow. And you don't get uh you get a check, baby. Ooh, I do. Yeah, just what? hold it, just hold it toothpick. What, what? What's the, what's the joke from the mental institution? No, I wouldn't do you like that. Okay. You. So as you can see. Look, the uh, green is the green is coming out. You see that? Uh -huh. Can put some sparkles in? Some uh, I think I want to say it might be. Okay. That'll be on the next video, baby. We'll do some. We'll do some glitter ones. Okay, so we have it all done so we know that we're noticing that and then with this you could just wipe your mess on there. okay so i'm noticing that it's a little bit bubbles on there coming around the edges so i'm just going to spray spray where do you get eat from spray spray i'm sorry thank you that that was the urban in me that was the manish assness in you <laughs> Okay, so now I have the bubbles out of there. I'm going to let it sit out just for a little bit just to see if some bubbles are going to pop up. So while I'm kind of cleaning up a little bit, my little area here, I am going to just see if any bubbles are going to uh, pop up. That's not going to be enough for nothing, so I'm going to leave that. So I'm not seeing any bubbles like around the edges or anything like that. I do see one little bubble there, so. Excuse me. Spray it. Spray it. And then I am going to lift the top. Very important. The reason why I have this pan here, and I've said it in my other videos. You see how easy that is to pick up? And just put it in there. Just put it. Just put it in there. Put the top down. And voila, it's okay that it doesn't go all the way down. That's fine. So I am going to let this sit for, well, be in the dryer for 45 minutes. And I'll be back with y'all. And we are back with the timer off. It's finished. I'm about to pull it out of the dryer. You see my little setting has changed up a little bit. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. You see how that green kind of overtook the white just a little bit, but that's okay. That is definitely okay. So what the next step will be is, let me get my chair. We are going to put on our 
labels on our uh, dominoes. Let me give me a drink of water because it's going to be a minute. Mm, I sell water. Get it right. Okay, so I have my just some epoxy already mixed in here that I have already kind of stirred up a little bit. This is nothing in it, no color or anything. It's just it's just clear. And I'm just stirring that in there. And where's my spoon? And just let it sit right there. Here's my spoon. And you can put these on one or two ways, okay? So you can either, I, I um, printed this out on using my inkjet printer and I um, used some adhesive white paper and I allowed my silhouette to cut it. So I don't have, so each one is actually the same cut. So you can do one of two things. You can either peel it with your hand or you can peel it with just a pair of tweezers. And I think I still have some of that gold stuff on here. Okay. So you could do it. You could just peel it up like that if you want. And you could just lay it down. Just like that. Make sure you have enough. I think the dominoes is what, 20, 28? So just put it in the middle just like that. And just lay it down. Try to get it in the middle as much as you can because you're using it as your mark in the middle and straight as much as you can. And I was wondering, I was like, when I got my um, machine, I actually have both the Cricut and the Silhouette. So when I got it, I was like, I saw this set with the tweezers. I was like, okay, what is, what, what is this for? Well, I didn't see a purpose for it, but guess what? I do now. How about that? How about that? And I'm gonna just keep staring at just for a little bit so it don't get um, hard. And my TV over there is loud, child. Sometimes that happens with old age with me. <laughs> TV gets loud. But I just, I can't have a TV in my craft room because if I do, y'all, I'll be, I give my hats off to those that 
that have that have a uh, TV in their craft room because I am so uh uh I be sitting back in the chair with my legs crossed mm -hmm. looking at TV. Now I can have some music going in here. I can be singing and. It'll actually make the time go by a lot faster, but I cannot be watching TV and crafting. I don't see how people do it. So I like to hear it in my favorite show. I can hear it so I can kind of like visualize it in my head just because I've, I've heard it. So I won't miss it too, too bad. Sometimes I try to print off just a little extra, just in case I um, I mess up, and I can peel them right on up. And again, these are on the jumbo, the jumbo dominoes. So I was able to print them all out on the same sheet, which is good for um, paper. You won't waste, you know, a lot of paper. Okay. So I have these down. I'm gonna just put my finger, make sure all the edges is down. Don't worry about it. It's not rubbing up on my finger or anything like that. And again, I'm just getting ready to pour some uh, clear epoxy. Meaning when I say clear, I'm not adding any color, any glitter or anything like that. I do have my spoon down. Let me go ahead and set Set my timer. I'm gonna replace the popsicle stick and use a spoon. Make sure ain't nothing on my spoon. And I'm just going to pour. letting it spread out by itself while I'm filling it filling the other dominoes And 
again, these are just for recreational use. For me, just to give you an idea on how to start creating your own masterpiece. I've gotten some wonderful feedback already. I am loving it. There's no competition. It's just strictly crafting. So get in there and have fun. If you've been, you know, trying to wonder if you should start or, yeah, why wouldn't you start? I want you to start. I'm just going to take my spoon and just make sure I have everything covered. You want to make sure you have everything covered because if you don't you're going to have like dry pockets so once the epoxy uh hardens it's going to have like like a hole almost and you definitely don't want to do that so you want to make sure that everything everything is covered and i say that you want to make sure it's covered with wet epoxy that better It's no right or wrong. It's what you, uh, what what fits right for you. What makes you comfortable in uh, doing this? <coughs> Excuse me. I kind of breathe that in a little bit.
pelvis. I'm still staying within the perimeter of the abdomino. Now, how do you choose which epoxy to use? It's easy. What you can afford. Do not break your back trying to get some epoxy that's... Because you're going to have to practice with it. And you don't want to practice with the expensive stuff because you're gonna, when you practice, you're going to... You're gonna mess up. You're gonna, and you know, you don't wanna do that with epoxy that's high, high in cost. You wanna get a feel, know what you're gonna do. Now, some people don't mess up. I'm not one of those people, because as you can see, I mess up. So go ahead and have a trash can kind of, kind of near you. So I am going to spray my alcohol. You see all those bubbles in there? I'm just gonna spray my alcohol. And I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. think what I need to do and I'm doing this with y'all I think I have some bubbles in here that needs to be popped and we're going to try to pop it another way and that other way is by applying using your heat gun so let me see if that will work and kind of move the bubbles around. Again, I am trying this with y'all. So let me... Uh-oh, can I see? So I just have a, a mini heat gun and I'm going to try to pop some of the bubbles out just by applying some heat. I know this works with cups. We're going to see how it works with dominoes. 
and I'm just not letting it sit in one spot. Now, just for me and my comfort, because I am scared as heck, I'm just going to spray just a little alcohol to kind of get them kind of moving around a little bit if I kind of mess them up with, with that. I'm going to look to see if I got the kind of, if I got the bubbles out. I don't see any bubbles. And... It is ready to go inside the dryer. So I'm putting this right back in and I'm going to let it go in for 35 minutes or until it's hard, which is 35, 40 minutes. Put the top down. And let's see. Okay, so we have the decals on the domino and there you can hear it is actually in the dryer. This is the cover to the case. I kind of like spray painted it a little bit. I don't know what I was doing, but try to make it become alive. So I have my epoxy. I have my glove. Because this time I'm going to use my fingers to kind of spread it around. So, what I'm going to do, I have three different colors. Let me sit down here. I have three different colors. I have some gold. I have some white. And I have some green. And I'm going to see how it's going to turn out. So... I'm going to get a popsicle stick and I'm going to mix them all together. So I have some green here. I'm going to just put some on this stick just like this and just put it in there. I don't want a lot of it, but I just want like a hint of it. So, here. Take this off. This is just some regular fine glitter. Just got a hint of that in there. And I know the white, now that I'm thinking about it, the white probably won't even show. But let me do this. Let me just put a little bit of silver in that just to give it like a, a sparkle shine. Just a little bit. And I use these containers because they're easy for for me to put my glitter in and hold it. And I'm just gonna dump that just like that, and I'm just gonna stir. is putting a like some green you can see all the colors in there so that's what I'm looking for I put a parchment paper underneath because I don't want it to stick to the to the pan so I'm gonna just pour just a little in there I'm just going to rub it around with my finger. You see more green than anything. And actually, you know what? I was supposed to put my picture down first. Oops. But that's okay. I can, I can 
bootleg it with y'all. Because again, I was supposed to put my picture down first. So even though I had an oops moment where I was supposed to put my picture down first, I'm still not going to let that stop me. So what I'm going to do is I am going to allow this epoxy to dry. Dry just enough for me to be able to put the picture on and cover it with some more epoxy. So let's let that dry. The epoxy is still wet. What I'm doing is just going along the edges to make sure that it's that it's down. I know it's, some may come up a little bit, but just make sure. Let me use this because I don't want my tweezers to get any type of epoxy on there. You see it still is moving around but it's sticking down. So it's gonna be okay, I hope. So sometimes you will have bloopers, but you have to make the, the best of it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna rub some epoxy on top and pray that it don't move. And it kind of shifted just a little bit, but you see how it's pulling out that color that is pretty. So now I'm gonna make sure that it's even. So now I'm just going to pour so it can kind of go over the whole thing just a little bit.
this is kind of like how I do my rolling trays, except the oops part. But I um, let the epoxy just kind of fall. can make sure that it's no dry spots. Let it come all the way down to the end. And you just kind of guide it with your finger. If you would like to add more, you can. I'm just adding it to the to the top. Try not to have it running over too much because you want your lid to close. You might think that it's a lot. You may think that it's not a lot. It's all up to you in your vision. So I am going to try this method again with the dryer, just to kind of get it, if anything is in there that needs to be popped, kind of get it to spread around a little bit. Spray it. That's just me. Okay, so I've sprayed it. I have dried it. Actually, let me see if I can get that to move around a little bit so you can kind of see. And this is all in called trial and error. So we have a few more minutes on the dryer. Then I'm gonna pop this in and see what it's gonna look like. Let's see what these dominoes look like. Time is up. Take it out. Look at that. Voila. Awesome. Can't wait to pop these out. 
Okay, we are getting ready to get to the fun stuff. Okay, I've actually pulled it out of the dryer. I am getting ready to pop it out. Pop it, pop it, pop it. And we will have to do some small maintenance on these, but I can tell you I am loving it. I like the color. Is my hand getting caught in this stuff? It shouldn't be. Easily just pop them out. Uh oh. These are a little bit different to pop out. I don't know if it's because the mold is a new mold, but definitely need some popping out. Is it still kind of stiff or what? Okay, so now I got the mold kind of loose. It's going a lot faster. Let's see here. It's going a lot faster with the popping, popping out. I may not have to trim much, but we are going to see. What all has to be done. Okay, so now that we have the mold out and see much we could kind of peel off just by itself. Oh, it kind of did my fingernail. I didn't ask for that to happen. I kind of hurt a little bit. So some projects you will get injured just, just a tad, just a tad. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get our drill out. This is a drill that, a nail, just a regular nail drill. And we're just going to nicely trim around the front. Just the, the edge part. Just gonna nicely trim around the edge part. This nail bit drill, I just got this drill off of Amazon. Look, for the ones that ask, let's see. Nope, you really can't see the you really can't see the, the gold flakes. Y'all remember the gold flakes? So, I told myself that even if it didn't come out, I'm still going to continue with the domino. But I love the after effects though. So, it's still a, a huge win-win plus for me. I like the firmness of the domino. I like the shape of the domino. The thickness of it. I love it. So 
So let's just piggyback off of some of the things that we have done while I'm doing this. The epoxy that was used was the Pro Marine. Um, you could use any epoxy that's, that's best for you, that fits your budget. I am not in any kind of way saying one is better than the other, but you be the judge of that. The alcohol that was used, again, the same thing. That was the 90, 99% alcohol that I got off of Amazon. But I mean, you be the judge as far as what works for you. I've used, I've pretty much used them all. It's more of a my preference, you know, as far as what you like and what you don't like, what works for you. What works for you may not work for me, vice versa. So it's what you feel comfortable with. Um, the I used the mica powder, the white mica powder, as well as some um, acrylic paint that I just got out of Walmart. Walmart Hobby Lobby, that's where you can find them at. Walmart Hobby Lobby. You can even get them off of uh, Amazon. Um, the tags, well, these decal uh, labels it's just some adhesive that I put in my uh, printer my inkjet printer and I print them, printed the picture off of Amazon I mean oh lord I printed the picture off of Google and just pasted it on there and used my um, silhouette to cut to cut it in the shape, the measurements that I've done, and I'll put those measurements in the description below. I do have me a little cheat sheet to where I do have uh, measurements written down. With this particular mold, this is the jumbo that I did. This is my first time doing the jumbo, and I am well satisfied with the jumbo. Now, the temperature for the dryer, I have my temperature set at 75. And I have, for this particular color, I just did it for 45 minutes. Now, I can tell you that I didn't say it before. When I put the epoxy on, when I put the epoxy on, when I took it out after the 45 minutes, it was a little flimsy. So what I did was I didn't touch it. I just let it sit in the mold for 45 minutes to an hour just by itself while I was, you know, looking at some other things on the uh, computer. And, and I popped these babies out and they was ready to go just like that. So if you pull it out within that time and it's still a little flimsy, just let it sit. You can let it sit until you do something else different or go watch TV or cut you a t-shirt. Do whatever you're going to do and then come back to it and it'll be ready. So just to put you up to speed, what I'm doing now is just trimming the domino. Just trimming the domino.
how you know what to trim and what not to trim. You will see like a little, I don't want to say a shadow, but I kind of want to say a shadow. When you hold it up, you will see it and you just, just lightly just glance over. You see, I'm not digging in, I'm not digging in the domino or anything like that. So that's what you would know what to, what to trim. Some you have to trim some you don't you see i'm not really i'm not even touching the bottom part at all i used to put on little goggles to protect my eyes but that's when i realized that i had the too high. I was trying to go fast and just, just enjoy each process as you go. It's not a race. I don't want to cut any corners with y'all. I want you to know everything. So my, my mess ups will not be y'all mess ups. How about that? The last thing we are about to do is color the dots. I am so excited about coloring the dots. I think I don't change the, the color of the dots after sitting here kind of thinking about it, I went with a different kind of green. We are almost to the finish line. 
Don't rush. Just take your time. And have fun. Take in each moment. Just think it's 28 pieces. So it's 28 pieces of your heart that's going out. That's the way that I look at it. And that's very huge to me. The last Mohegan, last one. Okay, we got that part finished. So let's go ahead and take that part out. So let's see if this will blow some of that dust out the way. Hopefully it will. It's kind of heating up. I don't think this is a good idea, but I'm trying to get the stuff dusted off. You don't want to use too much heat. So let me see if I have some of this powder off of this. And we're just going to turn them around. Let me just let you see up close. You hear them dogs barking. So let's go ahead and just turn them over. Just make sure that I need to get one of those... Um, blow things like you use to clean your your keyboard your computer maybe if i get one of those then it'll be easier oh, so you want to hear what it sound like if it dropped and you definitely heard it you definitely heard it So that's what we're getting ready to to do now. I'm just dusting some of the stuff out the way because we are getting ready to do the dots. So as you can see, some of it has the gold, some of them don't. I'll clean my floor. I have a, a dry mop, so. Okay, 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 okay. Looking good, looking good. So, I can't do that. So, that uh, that drives me kind of like up the wall. Sorry, y'all. I can't, I can't do that. That would drives me insane okay okay so now that we have that out the way um, make sure you have you on not your best pair of pants but you have you on something that you could dust your hands off with now i say that so i'm gonna use this green it's a Kelly green, and I'm just gonna shake it up. These bottles I got off of um, Amazon. And I'm just going to let it pour on the inside. I don't know if you can see it pouring, but I'm gonna just let it pour and just a good good amount I'm not gonna do the whole bottle and you see what I did I gotta pop that bubble I gotta pop it pop pop 
was pouring it too fast. So if you pour it too fast, then yes, a bubble will come about. And I think it's more of a bubble and a clot. So just get that napkin. Get that paper towel or whatever and just clean it out. Just pull it out and start back pouring. And I think that's a, a good enough amount. I can always do more. The color will not change on me. So, and I'm just going to put the, the top on there. And I'm just going to hold it down and just shake. So, to fill it, you just make sure that it's down at the bottom. You're just gonna color it in. Squeeze the bottle, color it in, and make sure that it's there. Color, color, color it in. And if you mess up, guess what you're gonna do? I messed up. your good old fingers your good old fingers okay and I'm just coloring in the rim now for the line I just turn it sideways and just let it fall That's easier for me. Like that. And if it raises up, get your good old fingers. You can also use a Q-tip and water. But you see these nails? These hands, I don't have pretty nails on, so I just use my finger. The paint, it washes right off. Now, the reason why I do this, and you can still see a little of that green, but that's okay. Reason why I do this is because I used to just fill up the hole with paint, but when I did that, I started noticing that some of it dropped, meaning that some of it cracked and some of it stayed and I couldn't fix it. So guess what I had to do? I had to redo the whole domino. So I learned this way and believe me, you're gonna learn. You might be good as far as filling in, I wasn't. So I had to do what was um, best for me. And just fill this hole in. See just a little bit of that gold. Must be a clot. And you will get those. Okay. It's trying to come out. Good ace. I just get a thumbtack and 
and see if it go in. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Sometimes I have to go smaller. See, it's trying to come out. So hopefully, let me push. I may have to get a needle. crafter you're gonna get some of uh, everything and you're gonna use some of everything i don't sew so i don't know what i have this for but i know what i have it for now i have it for situations such as these here we go it was able to go all the way down There we go. We're back in business now. We're back in business. Two, four, and let it fall. And again, I'm not filling up the hole. I am just putting some at the bottom. Is that another clot? Sometimes this happens. If you know of a way how to avoid this from happening, please put that comment in there. We learn off each other. But what I was saying, I don't fill them up. I just put just a little, put enough in there to make the, the color. And then I just like color it in. Some people do it like with a, a marker. I've seen that I this works fine for me. Up until today. Come on now. Maybe if I squeeze it just a little bit harder. I didn't see any clots. Usually when you see a lot of clots, it means the paint is going, going out. But I didn't see a lot of... Uh, I didn't see a lot of clots. So that's why I went ahead and continued with using this paint. Maybe all of it is excited about getting that dominoes, dominoes, dominoes. See that? Just it's another reason why you have something on your table. See that clap? Mm-hmm. 
make sure that you don't put the domino that you do that you worked on upside down in a paint that wouldn't be a good thing to do y'all really i have never had this issue before never but you notice i'm not freaking out so don't freak out it's it, you will find a way to get what you need done. Don't freak out. Rule 5301 on this plan. Don't freak out. It's not worth it because they don't know what to do. it's out of paint. Nope, there go that clock. And while I have it off, I'm going to go ahead and just put some more paint in there. Hopefully it won't pick up any more clots. This one in there. So I'm gonna make this my last time using this paint. This paint has been good to the family and it has served its purpose. So I think that I'm going to retire it after this. Just let me. To the end and I don't know if you pray who you pray to but definitely whoever help you out of situations you call on them because right now I am calling on Jesus Jesus help me just get to the end of this domino I have never, 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 ever, ever, ever. Had to do this. So, the only thing that I can do is pray and keep sticking. I guess that's what I get for changing the color. <laughs> ah, that's what I get for changing the color. So, maybe I should have st stayed with my first mind. I'm glad that it's, it's washable, huh? I 
just don't panic. How did uh, Dory on Nemo? She just said, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. So just keep painting. Just keep painting and stick every now and then. Just stick every now and then. That sure sounded like my stomach. <laughs> Probably was. That chair is sounding like my stomach. Actually, I think that was my that was my stomach. I'm hungry, y'all. I haven't ate anything. Oh God, they have been working on orders. The lesson one on one, take it from me. Make time for yourself. I'm gonna go over these with some with a a, a wet Q tip to kind of clean up the dirt that I've done. Only because I'm noticing that I'm doing so many to where um, it is making streaks and again don't panic don't panic what is going on from this angle. I'm doing a little maintenance. Oh, well, I guess that's it. Guess that was it. Don't know. We'll try. We'll just keep swimming. Keep swimming. Keep trying. Told y'all I'm I'm working and praying. Working and praying. Whoever you pray to, you got to call on them when you have situations like this. Sometimes everything is not beautiful in and out. So, and I'm glad I'm having these blooper moments with you so you could see that it's okay sometimes. It is definitely okay. And it's okay for me to stop and eat, but I'm not. I'm going to keep going. Y'all just going to have to deal with it. Okay, that look like a half one. Do you want them to look like a full one? So if you look like that the, the hole is not filled all the way, it's still wet. So just go ahead and trace it. Go ahead and trace, trace, trace sideways. Just trace. Mm. 
thought I was doing, thought I was doing good. More maintenance. See, where are my fingers? The day I choose not to put on gloves <laughs> is the day that I need gloves. And this, my friend, is, oh my goodness, I have never had to do this. Look at that. I have a napkin I'm sitting on. Remember when I did the table? It's sitting right on top of the trash. So I'm, that's what I'm using to clean it with. to the side. It's time for this paint to retire. Clock time. And it's coming out just a little bit. And it's coming out slow. <laughs> Y'all are getting all the blooper juice today. That's what I'm going to call it the blooper juice. All the blooper juice. You're getting all the good blooper juice. Life of a craft ain't always pretty. Ugh, that ain't, it put it. I guess it showed you when I said life of a craft ain't always pretty. They were showing you. Thing was showing you, honey, that it is not. It can be just damn right nasty.
It ain't nothing but a blooper party. That's a big one. That's my mama. That was the mama blooper. y'all almost finished with bloopers and all so I'm glad that I did not stop the video I kept it going y'all saw me dealing with bloopers so you know how to deal with them now. Now I think my helper don't quit on me. Cause he sure is quiet. He must be asleep. He must be napping. Y'all, we almost at that finish line. Now, very important, I'm getting excited and I can see that my dot tried not to fill up. So, just, I know you're excited, but kind of hold your excitement. See, I was getting excited and what happened? Blooper is not gonna let me finish gonna let me finish look at that look at that that's a that's another one it wasn't gonna let me finish being great but I'm great anyway, so see, um, it's being nasty again. Make sure I have all the paint at the bottom. What? You're not 
ever let me be great on my last domino? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I finish on top? It's a little bitty baby one. Road on your name, Jesus. There we go. And we are done. We are done. We can let me retire. Dun, 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 dun. I just put that bad boy in the trash where it goes. Okay. So I am finished with this. So let me let me fold this. Roll it up so it won't get on my table. Okay, let me get me a Q-tip. Okay, I just got some Q-tips. I just wet them on both ends. And I am just going to kind of go over and up. It's a small smidge of where you see it at. Not a lot of, not as bad as I thought. It's not as bad as I thought. That one is. I'm gonna clean you up. I'm gonna clean you up there. Clean you up, buddy. And I think you're good. So, I go dry my hands. I have you. Make sure you have you some paper towels handy. So, what I am getting ready to do is, uh-oh. I'm glad I walked away and came back to refocus my eyes. Now, what we're going to do is allow this to dry. And once this dry, we're going to spray some acrylic spray, like some Mod Podge or something. So if you have some acrylic spray, you could use that. So remember when I did the top of my jar? This is the out, this is the part of it right here. Glittery, huh? It's glittery, glittery. So this is the jar. So what I've done is I've used my silhouette and I did a pre-cut of some little stuff that I'm gonna put on the side. So I am going to Move this down. I'll put this right here so you could see. And I am going to get my little paper here. I don't need this much, so I'm going to cut it. I did see my squeegee friend. Okay. So, this is some um, sticky tape, transfer tape, 
and this is Oracle. So this is not the same thing that you put on t-shirts. It's what you put on with vinyl, right? So, show you a little trick. And that trick is, is make sure that you cover up everything. Just go over it real good. Turn it sideways or to the front, wherever you want it. And you can reuse this as many times as it sticks. So I'm going to stand up. So it's all little kind of cute things that you could do to make your box stand out. And I just cut some little clover leaves. And if it don't stick, don't freak out. Don't throw the paper away. Just put it back down and redo it. And it's okay that it hangs over a little bit. And you can do one or two things with it. You can either fold it or you can cut it. You see? So I'm going to just choose to fold it. I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to just choose to fold it. Do the other side. This time, I think I am going to break it up. Let's see if I can break it up without cutting it. Yeah. I'm gonna break it up and I'm gonna put one down here. And I'm going to put the other here. And you're the creator of it, so. And here is my rainbow. Voila, let me put this back on my paper because it's still stick and I can use it on another project. So, this is my little St. Patrick. Let me see what it look like with the top on there. My little Saint, uh oh, there it is. My little Saint Patrick. So, why that? This don't have to dry. This is ready to go. This is ready. This is ready to go.
So what I am getting ready to do is pull this back over. I'm gonna try to put dominoes close, not touching together, but kind of together. To where when I spray, it doesn't spray all over my table. Kind of move the edges a little bit. I'm gonna just get some Mod Podge. That's what I'm gonna use today. Some good old Mod Podge. Make sure you have the dot down and not spraying at you. You definitely don't wanna do that. And I'm gonna just lightly spray over it. And just let it dry. And let it dry. That's it. And we're done. So let this dry for 30 minutes, air dry. Don't touch it. Let it stay still. And we'll put everything together in a just in a little bit. Going into the final reveal. Remember, this is the mold that we use, the jumbo mold that we used. Okay. And here are the dominoes. Look at that. Look at this beauty. Look at the thickness of it. And the top, let me put this down so we can see this. On the top, remember that uh, we put glitter on it and epoxied and put it in a dryer. So this is some of the Oracle decals that I put in there. And I just put some white paper, just some tissue paper so you can see, uh, be able to see the decals a little better. So these are the decals that we put on there. So that's the end of the video. See you later.